So, lots of people know Megalodon as a gigantic shark. Um, and it's become famous for teeth that you can find. But everyone really wants nice, complete teeth, right? They look gorgeous, and they're really, really nice, and they tell us a lot. But what may be more interesting are the teeth that are incomplete. So, Megalodon was a huge shark. It was, you know, 40, 50, some people estimate 60, 70, 80 feet long. Absolutely gigantic. But what was a shark that big doing? And so, how is it eating? How could it eat enough to actually keep going? Well, even if it was eating big things or a lot of things, when you eat things, and sharks consistently shed their teeth all the time, you're probably breaking teeth. And it turns out that a lot of these teeth are partially broken, right? Tips are broken off, or they have really, really large gouges out of the front. There's lots of different damage that can be occurring. So, one thing that's, that we're trying to do is study the damage of these teeth to try to tell us how they were broken. And in doing that, determine how Megalodon was actually living. What was it eating? How was it behaving? What was it eating on? How did it evolve to get so big? And that may help us understand why we no longer have any of them today.